This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar covering the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create keywords, then use them in searches. Let's twirl this down here. Oh my goodness, what are these? These are keywords. A keyword allows me to say, show me all the video of adults. Remember the folders that I had inside the Pond5 folder? Here's all my Pond5 clips. Here's all my Pouring Steel clips. Here's all inside the Pond5 clips, all those that have adults or those that have kids. Hmm. I also could say, show me all of my animal clips. I've got sheep and bears and a heron and lions and tigers. Oh. My, so many different things that we can pick from. Well, let's work with these animals for just a bit. Inside animals, I have a subcategory called predators. And the predators, well, I've got a lion and a tiger, which are clearly predators, but there's also a polar bear. Polar bears are a predator. So let's click this key icon here, keyboard shortcut, it's command K, and let's add a keyword of predator. Notice that it fills in as I start to type it, press the enter key to select it. And now when I select predators, I've got the polar bear, the lion, and the tiger. If, for instance, I select the event and type, uh, let's do a find. Let's go all the way up here. Click the Find button, and let's find bear. Oh, I find a black bear and a polar bear. Well, what happened to the grizzly? The grizzly, click here to clear it, the grizzly doesn't have bear in the file name. This search only looks in two places. It looks in the file name, and it looks in the Notes field. That's the, um, if we go to List View here, see these column headers? Let's make this a bit wider so we can see what we're doing here. I've got all these column headers, just like we discovered last week inside the media import window. And inside here is a notes column, a bighorn sheep. So let's call where the notes go. Cue the notes. If you control click, lists all the different categories you can display. If I grab the notes and drag it, I can change the order. If I uncheck it, Camera angle, don't want that, don't need 360, don't need stereoscopic. You can add these or change them, drag them, grab the border between, you can change the width, notes field. Notice that I double click here to open up the notes. I'm going to assign this a bear note. And what is it assigned to? The bighorn sheep. Now when we do a search, for bear, notice the bighorn sheep shows up because it's searching inside the note field, as well as black bear and polar bear. Well, it's going to make my life really miserable if I keep that bear note there. Highlight it and get rid of it, and close this up here by clearing it. It would be nice, though, if I could do some searches for this on more than just the file name. And that's what this box does. This opens up an extremely powerful search window. And I could search on the text, that's the file name, or the notes, that's the same thing. It shows up here in the search box. I don't want that. I want instead to search on keywords. And in Final Cut, there's no practical limit to the number of keywords you can work with. Let's find clips that are bare. So I'm going to uncheck all. And show me my bear clip. Oh, look at that. All, why is it searching? It's not searching on the file name. It's searching on keyword. Show me the adults. It's because I have animals selected. If I go and select media, now it shows me the adults. There's no adults that also have the animal category. Here's where this becomes really powerful. I want to see all the clips that are bears or predators. And notice I see all three of my bear clips plus my lion and tiger clip. When include any is selected, it will show me all the clips that have one keyword or another keyword, bears or predators. If I change this to include all, it shows clips that only have bears 
and predators, and there's only one. It's the polar bear. So when this is set to any, it's an or, adults or bears or people. If this is set to all, it's bears and predators. Well, that's really nice to know. In fact, I like this a lot. I'm going to create a saved search called a smart collection. I'm going to call this predators, predators. I'm going to call it that, but what it's going to come out, typing predators and bears, and press enter. Except a grizzly bear is a predator. That needs a, needs a keyword. So I'm going to click the key icon. Remember, the keyboard shortcut is command K. I'm going to call this predators. And I don't need both the pond fives. I'm going to highlight the keyword that I don't want. I'll get rid of pond five. And now when I close this, show me bears. Now that shows up because it was there before. But when I go to predators and bears, now the grizzly and the polar bear show up because the saved searches are dynamic. As clips change or keywords change, the clips associated with them change as well. To get rid of a saved search, control, click on it, and say delete smart collection. A smart collection is simply a saved search. And that's what we have up here. Show me a smart collection of all my video, or all of my audio only, or those that are favorites, or projects which I haven't created yet, or still images. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 286. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies. Hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.